thinking like she tagged this shit. This is crazy. Like, we just begged her, Shorty, please don't tag. Like, my nigga, look at this shit. Bro. That happened in Hartford, Connecticut, just one day after Jay-Z at Webster Hall, where he brought out Jim Jones and Nas and many other friends, where he dropped this freestyle about Nipsey Hussle and the gentrification of America. Okay, gentrify your own hood before these people do it. Claim eminent domain and have your people moving. That's a small glimpse into what Nipsey was doing. Anybody still confused as to what he was doing? Previously on this channel, you guys have seen it. We have covered the Nipsey Hustle case. We have covered his unfortunate and gone way too soon murder that occurred in Los Angeles outside of one of his businesses. We have shadowed his legacy, how he reinvested back into his communities in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, trying to provide a better future. And now we have this. Oh, she, yo, she posing, my nigga. Like, this is crazy. She said no, niggas no, is no, trying no, to no, bitch no, her. No, so look, look. Take her. Okay. Okay. I'm on Facebook. Yo, that's crazy. Or oh, just don't mess his face yeah, up. Like, like don't mess trees. that. Right. Look, not that. Me, this is a face like. I don't want to disrespect yeah, him. Like, yeah, like, like, hard if he's lit. Like, I'm what's amazing to me is in the NWI Times just yesterday. They had a write-up that was titled Street Art of Nipsey Hussle in LA Breathes Life into Legacy. As I said, it's located in Hartford, Connecticut. And it's showing just how much Nipsey Hussle impacted everyone in this country. Not just in California, not even specifically in Southern California, but all over the United States and even globally. It was painted by a gentleman named Corey Payne, according to Black Sports Online. Payne could be seen here photographed by the Hartford, Connecticut, and here is what he went on to tell that outlet. Quote, I always respected him, Nipsey, more as a person than even his music, and I just wanted to honor that. Payne also paints, according to the Hartford, uh, according to this outlet, also paints shoes for NFL players. So why exactly does someone like this do this? Why would a woman deface a mural of a man who not only was gone too soon at just 33 years old, but tried to do so much more than just being constricted to the box of hip hop and hip hop artists. Trying to better the communities, trying to reinvest the communities, trying to buy back the land that was taken from him. And yet she sees value and even saying, follow me on Facebook. Hey, hey, I'm on Facebook. Because she's trying to do it to ruin the legacy of Nipsey Hussle. What else would someone try to do if something is so beautifully painted and then taking it down? Case in point, prior to the Super Bowl in Atlanta, Georgia, there was a mural of Colin Kaepernick, and it was destroyed. Not defaced, not spray painted, but completely destroyed. Piece by piece, brick by brick, all crumbling down for the goal of inflicting and suffering and then succeeding on those terms. In Los Angeles, LeBron James's mural suffered the same exact fate. So what should happen to this random person? Well, they're going to be shamed forever, worse than Cersei. Second, what should happen is there should be criminal charges. Trying to ruin the legacy of someone as great as Nipsey Hussle, who was just trying to do better, shame on this person and shame on anybody who would even try to do the same thing to a Colin Kaepernick mural, a LeBron James mural, or any more that occur in the future.